Hello, I'm Nick Ippolito, and this is a guide on how to exploit the debug server in the Sans Holiday Hack Challenge 2016. I'm going to assume you already have a way to run an APK file and send it through Burp Suite. If you don't, there's a guide in my write-up. It uses the Android SDK to set up a Android VM. There's other ways to do it, like JennyMotion or BlueStack. I just chose to go the Android SDK route. And once you have that set up, copy the APK file over to your Kali box. And we're going to disassemble the APK with APK tool. So run APK tool D and then the APK file name. We're doing disassembly, not decompiling, because we're going to want to make a change, package it back up, and send it to the phone. If we decompiled it, we get more easy to read code, but we just can't package it back up. So disassembly is the way to go here. APK tool will disassemble everything and put it in a folder, so let's go in there. The challenge wanted us to do something with debug, so let's grep this for all references to debug. So grep dash r for recursive, so it goes into directories, type debug, and we'll just put a dot so it goes everywhere from this current working directory. Right off the bat, we do see one interesting hit debug data enabled, and that is set to false. So let's set this over to true. Save this file. And I just screwed up with V. There we go. And then the next step is go up the one directory, and we're going to run APK tool again to build this. And that is the only change we have to make to this to enable the debug mode. So APK tool build, santagram underscore 4.2, and hit enter. It's going to build, it's checking this molly, and it'll take probably 15 to 20 seconds to build, a little bit shorter. Go back into this, and we have a new directory, it's the dist, and this is where the APK file is. But we have to sign the APK before we push it to our phone, and we're going to use OpenSSL to do that. The first thing to do is make a directory called keys, and this is just going to be for organizational purposes. You don't actually have to do that step. And then run key tool dash gen key dash v dash key store keys slash santagram dot key store dash alias santagram dash key algorithm. We'll do RSA key size 1024 signature algorithm uh, SHA-1 with RSA validity. How long is it going to be good for? Eh, 9001 sounds good. And that is in days. Key store password. Password. Doesn't matter. This doesn't matter either. So we're just going to go unknown. I'm doing this slow because it asks if it's correct. If I hit no, it's going to go through this prompt again, which is a little bit annoying. So put yes there. And it wants us to type our password again. And I could have just hit enter for the same password, but I just type password. The next thing we do is run jar signer to use the key we just generated to sign the actual APK file. So jar signer dash sig alg sha1 with rsa digest alg uh, sha1 dash key store key slash santagram. Oh crap. I hope this just doesn't have tab auto completion. I didn't make a mistake for the last step. Oh, uh, then dist santa gram underscore four dot two dot apk, and the app's name is santagram. Let's see if this works. Uh, sig, I have a typo there. Password, warning. Okay, jar signed. We have a signed apk file. So we can go into the dist folder. And that's what we're going to have to push over to the phone. So let's go into a different workspace where we have Burp Suite up and running. Run Android, and this will pop up the SDK. Going to go to Manage AVDs. Start this. Yep. And Android's going to be running. 
the one thing I'm going to have to do is uninstall the Sandagram that's already on my Android emulator. I want to include this step just because you may already have it on it and installing it's slightly different. So we have the Android emulator up and running. We're going to go back to our previous workspace with the terminal and run AAPT dump badging on the APK file. And we're going to grep for a package. And when we uninstall, we use this name, not Sanagram. The other way we could do this is on ADB shell PM list packages. And ADB is not found because it's not in my path. So locate dash R for regular expression, ADB, and we want to terminate that. So export path equals path colon. This. So add the Android SDK to my path, and now I should be able to run ADB. Yep, so ADB shell PM packages. Is it just package? Packages list. ADB shell PM. I'm actually not sure how to do it with ADB. Full disclosure, I'm not a Android guy, so we're just going to do it the way I did it the first time. AAPT dump badging to get the package name, and now we're going to copy this, run ADB uninstall, and then the package name. And to show that it was on my phone previously, let's go back to this, try to swipe to unlock, swipe to unlock, there we go, or super secure passcode. Swipe up. And we do have Sandagram on this. So running this ADB uninstall, it is successful. And Sandagram's no longer on this. So now we want to install our new Sandagram. So ADB install Sandagram. Success. And we have the app up and running. So I'm going to turn this proxy off, or turn intercept off. And we're going to open this. Look at history. Uh, needed account. I'm going to have to create a new one now. Uh, how do I hide keyboard? We can scroll down. Need an account. Let's do ipsec at mailinator.com. Password. Super secure password. Sign up. And it's not doing HTTP history, so something's not happening in BERT. Change this to all interfaces. And we should start seeing stuff go through. Target, there we go. We have WWW North Pole Wonderland, so the app is coming through. And we just gotta play with this app until we see something from the dev. If I recall correctly, to get to dev, we just have to edit a profile. We can put something about this. And then update, and we get the dev. So we can go to our HTTP history, see this request, send this over into repeater. Play this, and we can see what the response was. We're sending a JSON string with a few variables and getting this as a response. One odd thing is, it says verbose is set to false. So what happens if we just change ours to say verbose true? Can we set that variable and get more information? Turns out we can, and we get the file name of the mp3 file somewhere. Right up here. There it is. Debug 2016, bunch of numbers, dash zero dot mp3. That's just a file in the web directory. Go there, download it, and the challenge is done. Rather simple challenge. The big hurdle was just being able to modify a APK file and push it back to your device. Hope you enjoyed this walkthrough. Take care and have a good day.